Okay, so today we're going to talk about bifurcations for a discrete dynamical system with a parameter. Um, bifurcation in English means something that splits into two, but in, in this context in mathematics it has a, a bigger meaning. It basically describes a value for the parameter that causes the number of fixed points or the nature of the fixed points to change. So we'll take a look at an example and see how um, a bifurcation manifests itself in a simple um, DDS with a parameter. Let's start as an example with the DDS um, where f of x equals x squared plus c. So c is our parameter here. And we can kind of picture what's going on. f of x equals x squared is a parabola. Um, and adding c, if c is positive, will shift the parabola up. And if c is negative, will shift the parabola down. So let's um, start with a simple case where c equals 0. That's sort of the easiest case to look at. Um, what's that look like? Well, the picture we want to look at is line y equals x, and the parabola, which is just x squared. Okay, And we can see from this picture that we have two fixed points, right? The two fixed points are the places where f of x crosses the line y equals x. So there's one at 0, and there's one here. Where is here? Well, it's pretty easy to see that here is 1. We can actually uh, determine that by setting, solving, uh, so to find fixed points, fixed points. We find, remember we set x equals x squared plus 0, so that's 0 equals x squared minus x, which is x times x minus 1. So x equals 0 and 1 are the fixed points. Right? Those are the two fixed points. And in fact, we can go further. We can just look at the, we can eyeball the slopes here, and we can see that the slope at 0 is 0. So that's going to be an attracting fixed point. And the slope at 1, well, you know, if we compare the slope at 1, just again by i, we see that that's going to be greater than 1. Um, and that'll be a repelling fixed point. So that's the situation for c equals 0. Um, but what happens when c changes? Well, now I think we're going to use the computer to get a more dynamic picture of what goes on. So let's take a look and use this tool in Mathematica. So here we have the same situation we saw on the paper. We have x squared plus c, but c is, well, let's make c be 0, as close to 0 as we can get. And there are the two fixed points, attracting and repelling. Let's increase c slowly. That moves the parabola up. Notice that we still have two fixed points. This one is still attracting. The slope isn't quite 0, but it's not bigger than 1. And the slope of this fixed point is bigger than 1. So this is still attracting, and this is still repelling. Let me increase c some more. And you see the two fixed points are now, well, one's uh, here maybe about a little bit more than one-fifth, and one's here a little bit uh, less than three-quarters. Um, they're, they're moving together, moving towards each other. One's still attracting, one's still repelling, until C passes oh, about a quarter, it looks like, 0.25, and then the fixed points vanish altogether. So we've just seen a bifurcation. We've seen a bifurcation, we've seen a change in the nature or number of the fixed points. Let's go through that again. <laughs> Um, when c was less than a quarter, we had two fixed points. When c is equal to a quarter, it looks like there's only one fixed point. And when c is greater than a quarter, there are no fixed points. So we would say that the, the bifurcation value uh, of c in this case was one quarter, or at least it appears to be one quarter. How can we figure that out more precisely in this case? Well, let's take a look at a formula for the fixed points. Because this is a simple quadratic, it turns out we can write down a formula for the location of the fixed points as they depend upon the parameter c. So remember, we solve for the fixed points. The 
fixed points uh, by setting x equal to f of x. We just did that a moment ago with c equal to 0, but now let's do it for the general case. x equals x squared plus c. So 0 equals x squared minus x plus c. Let's use the old quadratic formula to tell us what x is. So x equals, let's see, 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 minus 4c all over 2, right? Applying the quadratic formula to this quadratic. And so this, if we look at this formula for, for the fixed point x, we see that we get two answers from the plus or minus, provided what's under the square root sign is positive, right? So when 1 minus 4c is greater than 0, we get two fixed points. If 1 minus 4c is equal to 0, then we won't have anything under the square root and we'll just get one fixed point. One fixed point, uh, x equals a half actually, right? And I, you know, I can, um, and if 1 minus 4c is less than 0, 0 fixed points. So it turns out that the bifurcation occurs right here. Right? This is the bifurcation that occurs right where the, the fixed number of fixed points changes from 2 to 1 and then to 0. This is the bifurcation. And of course, if 1 minus 4c is equal to 0, that implies that c equals 1 quarter or 0.25 which is what we saw on the computer experiment.